And of course, Iran. You know, we have to win against Iran. Otherwise, they'll make a big propaganda about it. But yeah. I got a speaking of uh, uh, speaking of interesting stories uh, about the World Cup. Catherine Nesbitt, who left her analytical chemistry position to pursue officiating full time, is one of six women in FIFA's pool of referees for the World Cup. That'll be interesting for the Middle East to see w women referees out there. No hijab. The U.S. Soccer Federation has said it will exhibit rainbow colors in World Cup areas it controls, such as the team hotel, but players won't wear the rainbow crest on their uniforms. Now, sometimes I feel like there's woke agendas and stuff in sports, but this is kind of one I'm kind of like, I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't feel like this is a woke agenda. To me, this feels like, we're not trying to stick you in their faces, but like, hey, they if they want to play with the big boys, they got to make some concessions and changes. And the way that they treat uh, gay people is absolutely unacceptable. And, well, and my thoughts on that is why, why, why poke the bear? Why, why shake the hornet's nest? You know, we're there to play a game. You know, in fact, several people, including the U.S. ambassador, ambassador in Qatar has said, hey, don't make a political statement while you visit here. You know, Just play the game, play the sport, and let's grow from this event, is what they're saying. Yeah. And, and we can make why... change from there. And that's actually a good point, because when we think about it, think about World Cups past, Brazil World Cups, where they got favelas, they got horrific violence and gangland violence that, you know, there's stuff that we didn't have many big statements, but those were concerns. Same thing with Russia. We, we were concerned. We had concerns about Russia stuff going on. Like there was there's been past World Cups where, you know, there's been issues that we've been concerned about and, you know, statements have been made. So how does that fit into this? Exactly. And it's, you don't, again, you don't, you know, you're, you're a guest in this country, basically. Yes. That's so true too. That you, you got to remember that as well. You're not on your home territory. And this is, you know, you, whether you like it or not, you kind of have to respect their rules. You know, it's look at Brittany Griner who did not respect the rules of Russia. And she's currently still locked away. Yeah. So it's one of those situations where, you know, there's time and places to do stuff like that. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. And we shouldn't poke the bear and we shouldn't be shaking the hornet's nest. You know, we shouldn't be looking for trouble. You know, that's, you know, and, that, and that's not just, you know, the proper thing to do, but it's also written on your passport, too. <laughs> if you ever have a chance to look at it, it says, don't look for trouble. Really? In so, so respectful interactions. And, you know, if you're, if you're if you do some of these things, that's that is looking for trouble to some degrees. And, and you, like you said, if it's like if you, if you want to be the person to make that stand, you better be prepared to pay some significant consequences out there. I, it, it's it, but it, t instead of that, maybe consider what this whole thing's about is it's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity to spur change. It's an opportunity to get them to look at women and and gay people and everybody else differently in a way that they have not. And that opportunity is coming in this World Cup, whether the Qataris know it or not, it's it's going to be on full display. They're going to be exposed to it in a way that they have into Western cultures and into, into all of the subtle nuances like they've never have before. And they are going to have to deal with it in some degree. So we, there has to be some reciprocity in there. But also, like you said, those people in the other, you got to have some sort of respect at the same time. I mean, other people's culture is other people's culture. And so, like, we do have to respect some that some of that those base differences in us and the way that we've grown up in the world differently in different geopolitical places. It's 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 just a fact of the matter. It's, we're all different people dealing with different social pressures, and those lead to different decisions. And also with different uh, parameters all involved. I mean, this all as you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's you know that's my thing. That's my take on it. You know. That's a fair take. I, I think you definitely you, you you made me feel pretty good about that. You you, you you talked me off a ledge, so to speak. And the thing about it, it's like, no, I'm not trying to say anything by it. I'm just saying, hey, we're not at home. We're basically guests in this country. And therefore, we should be respectful and whatnot. And this is how people that's their custom. And that's hey, we got to respect it. You know, and, but, and here we are over in America where luckily we have the freedom 
to discuss and talk about it in the ways that we do. Yep. And so, you know, let's let's maintain that and, uh, and and do what we can with that to maybe help them figure everything out a little bit uh, towards uh, some human rights progress as well. So, yeah, that's, you know, kind of set this be the example as Ronaldo. <laughs> well, let's get into Ronaldo here. Get, be the example, as Ronaldo would say. Ronaldo had a crazy interview with Piers Morgan, DPG. Just before we get that, uh, just before we get there, just a real quick, sum up World Cup happiness. World Cup facts, Ronaldo and Messi have never scored in the knockout stages of the World Cup. That's amazing. Neither Ronaldo or Messi have goals in the knockout stages of a World Cup. So, do you want to talk about Ronaldo, or do you want to? Oh no, I, I was just teasing it. Let me fa oh. fa fa factor out these oh. four facts, and then we're going to get to Ronaldo. Uh, there has been a European team present in the nineteen of the last twenty-one finals. No team has ever won the tournament under the guidance of a foreign coach. That's crazy. India qualified for the nineteen fifty World Cup, but refused to travel after FIFA didn't allow them to play barefoot barefooted yep. oh my goodness and now cristiano ronaldo having a crazy interview with piers morgan just it, it, oh my God. He, 